Hi everyone, uh, Sarah here. I'm here to walk you through a basic men's haircut tutorial. Um, like many of you, my husband and I have been stuck inside for a couple months and his hair is just getting a little bit long, so we thought it would be a good time to cut it. Uh, I have watched a number of YouTube tutorials in between of taking care of my one-year-old and I feel pretty confident that I've synthesized the important points that I remember and uh, will be able to show you today kind of the best practices for an at-home haircut. And it's going to be very basic. We have scissors, or, sorry, scissors and a comb and we uh, make do with what we have at home, right? So instead of, uh, you know, what they have at the salon, we're using our baby's muslin swaddle for a cover. So look forward to walking you through this. Um, let's go. Hi everyone, again. Um, so here we have Nate, and as I said, Nate's hair's been growing out for a couple months now. So it's gotten pretty long um, around pretty much all areas. Um, you know, ideally you would be doing an at-home cut once every couple weeks just to keep, you know, so you don't have to reinvent the wheel. You can just kind of keep trimming back. It's been a couple weeks since Nate had his hair cut at, with a barber, so we really don't have a great outline to work with at this point. So I'm really going to be just kind of like doing it on my own with a new cut. Um, but once we do that, I can just go back every couple weeks and um, trim it up so that it's less work as you keep going. Now there are three areas of the head that... Um, that you want to focus on there's the top part the crown and then you've got kind of this lower part which is the you know the hair near the um, hairline the bottom and then you've got this transition area um in in the middle so so what we want to do i think to start with is just get the tran the bottom and transition area kind of um cleaned up so um so uh let, let's get started so Nate here, he doesn't want, we talked a little bit um, before this about what he wants as far as a haircut. He does not want kind of just like a short, short haircut. Before when he went to the barber, they really worked with his hairline to keep his hair kind of long at the top um, and in the transition area and then a little bit shorter at the back. Um, so we're going to try to keep with that same, um, same thing and really try to work with his hair. Um, you'll see... Uh, well, I don't know if you can see on the thing, but he, Nate has, uh, his hair grows and it has a couple cowlicks in the back. So we'll really want to make sure that when we cut those, we're working with the hairline and with the way the hair is growing. So with that said, are you ready, Nate? Yes. Okay. I'm going to get a trim going up here, kind of curl it around the comb, get a trim going up here, set a length and then just bring it down the back. Well guys, at home haircuts will never be as good as barber haircuts, but what do you say we give it a shot? And what you wanna do when you're doing this is really make sure that you're following the length of the prior cut. So you don't want to be eyeballing this. Um, so I should tell you what I did when I um, when I was learning how to do this is I, I put on a bunch of YouTube videos and um, was watching my daughter at the same time. So I kind of got bits and pieces of it. Um, and I noticed that people, everybody has kind of a different way of doing haircuts. Some people start like I'm doing here, like a sideways kind of cut. And then other people do front to back um, with length. And I, my initial thought was that I would do front to back, but the way it looks like his barber pin is there, it looks like there's some slanting going on. Um, that makes it look like it was done this way. So I'm going to go with that. I know I said it's been a couple months, so that may not be the best gauge, but I really don't want to, um, want to work against what we have going on here. So one thing I learned is that 
you don't want to guess where you last cut, like what length to cut at. You really want to try to find those hairs you already cut and go off of those. When Nate and I lived in San Diego, I used to cut his hair quite a bit. A bit? Hmm? That's a bit is a bit generous. So when I watched the YouTube videos, they just kind of like went like that, pull it up and you could kind of see what needed to be cut. Um, you're and you're not taking off too much length, right? I'm trying not to. What What do you mean by trying? I mean, I don't think that I did, but... What kind of length are you going for? Well, I was just going for like an inch or so. An inch? <laughs> Let's bring it down to a half to a half inch, please. Well, I mean, <laughs> you want me to... What are, what are you working on now? Um, I'm working on the bottom kind of area. I'm trying to, you know, I've been trying to keep the length relatively consistent up at the transition part, but I'm trying to take a tiny bit more length off here just because um, I know you, uh, you were especially concerned about the mullet angle, right? Uh, yeah, the, the side view of my hair, I wasn't enjoying that. And Nate, what are your thoughts about cleaning up your sideburns? Uh, I don't know. I just my I've always had this weird relationship with my sideburns because they're completely different hair. So it's like curly, and uh, I mean, I think there's a pretty there's a case to be made for letting them get longer and heavier and even being able to like tuck them behind my ears. But... Yeah, I don't think we're going to do that. <laughs> so I think we're going to have to do some texturizing there. Just kind of thin it out a little bit. Do you have a pretty good approach for that? Um, I saw this guy do it on a YouTube tutorial and I'll show you when it comes time to do it. Um, it involves taking like chunks out. Uh, I don't. I mean, I don't think that's the proper terminology. It's not. It's not chunks, right? So um, we may need to give. So my um, my sister-in-law used to be a hairstylist, and uh, depending how things proceed we may have to call her up at some point all right call my sister-in-law cat so um so nate and i i've been watching a lot of youtube videos on this um and i thought i thought you know i've been watching so many of them um i would try to synthesize it all and we're doing our own youtube video um just kind of like showing them how to do a basic men's haircut um so Nate's got really thick sideburn areas, and I saw on the YouTube video that sometimes they just kind of like went like this, and they just kind of like took chunks out to thin it. No, yeah, see, I was telling her chunks is not the right word, right? Chunks? Yeah. Well, like thinning scissors. Yeah, thinning scissors. No oh. regular scissors. We have like these? No, these are not thinning scissors, Sarah. These are just regular scissors. So what they do is it's a special scissor that doesn't cut all the hair. <laughs> well, but, but the one, so can you, can you, can you, so the one that I saw, like, they went like this, I'm not going to do it, but, and then he like, had to, it was like regular scissors and he just took like notches out. Exactly, yeah. So it was like point cutting. Yeah. So, okay. So, so the, kind of like angle, but not like, not taking out all the hair, like taking, Right. Not chunks, but more like. <laughs> 
Yeah, slivers of hair, Sarah. Yeah. <laughs> Here she goes. She's just still cutting. Well, we're also kind of on a time crunch because Jimmy's going to be up soon, so. We're about, I don't know how far we are through this. Sarah's been uh, working her way around my head. Yeah, so we're just, uh, we just wanted to like check in with you to see if this looked like I was doing pretty good, which it sounds like I am. So it took me, but I, I really want, I really want to make this something that like is accessible for people who haven't really done this before. Honestly, as I started doing this, it took me a while to kind of get into the groove of how to cut, how to cut. Um, but I feel like I'm kind of getting into it now. So, um, I want to say there was like a moment when I first started where I was kind of like, Oh, what have I gotten myself into? Um, maybe I should just take the razors and like give them a buzz cut everywhere because that was a little bit, uh, worried, but now I'm definitely feeling more confident and like this is coming together. Um, it's just, again, like give yourself time, give yourself patience, definitely do it with somebody who's going to trust you and, um, give you the time to do it well. Um, and realize that we're, you know, all living through a major world event. So do it with love. If I've heard anything repeatedly, um, it's don't start too short, um, which is what I'm trying not to do. But also, you know, trim, your, trim it up. Don't be afraid to cut. Mm. Yes, me? Not nothing. And it looks like maybe on the right side, I've still got a little bit more length. But that's because I haven't done. You. It's because I haven't um, cleaned this up in the way that I cleaned up the other side. Um, is it a good, yeah. good break point? Yeah. So we're just about, I think, to the point where I'm going to do the thinning technique that we talked to Kat about. Okay, I really want everybody to see this because it's um, it's not. It's not an easy technique to master. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna trim that up first. And then I just, okay. So then I just take, see that hair right there? And I'm just gonna notch, 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 notch. And Kat said it's more like a sliver than a notch. And then like in here, notch, 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 notch. And keep in mind, you're going to have to do this on both sides. Notch, notch. I'm just taking out some of that thickness, really. Nate has some calyx. He's got um, longer hair that he wants to keep longer. Um, And we really need to just kind of like figure out which way his hair is going and work with that. So, um, so I'm going to try to not take a ton off the top. And he's got this side. This side will be easier to, to clean up. So I'm going to do that first. Okay, now Nate, you want to turn? 
Now this, you guys, is the trickier part, this part right here, uh, just because I don't want to overshoot the mark. Um, and I also don't want to cut his hair in a way that doesn't work well with the cowlick. So we're just gonna, again, just take a little bit off, not a ton. Now, we've got still a lot of chunks in, we still need to do a few more chunks in this side. So now I'm just kind of going through and checking my length all around the, the, the head to make sure I don't have any gaping differences. Um, you know, we're all, those of us doing this from home in this way, we're all amateurs. So, you know, give yourself a break. It doesn't have to be perfect. We're all on Zoom calls anyway, right? Nobody sees the back of our hair. Now, if I'm being honest here, the one thing I'm not sure about is the front part. It's got to be matching on both sides. Yeah, that's a good point. Have you not looked at both sides? Okay, so get you guys a good look at how how this turned out. So here's the top. And as you can see, we've got this long piece and then the back, but then here, whoops, there you can see the length of the back and what we did there. So you can turn, oh, hold on. There. And this is all you guys with a pair of scissors and no razor to, um, Clippers. Clippers to make sure that the that it's even length. So it's really just all manual. Um, okay, let's uh, let's style it. So here I have some some pomade, a uh, modeling paste, KMS California Formula hair play. Um, click the link below if you want to purchase some from our house. We have a little bit left in here. Um, so you wanna get it activated by rubbing it together and then just... And so I'm actually feeling pretty pretty good about this. So you got the burns. I like the length on these. It makes me look kind of manly. Yeah, so um, that easy, you guys. This took us about an hour and a half, um, start to finish. So, you know, be prepared for that. But um, hey, no, no charge. Free service. And a free beer. <laughs> Take care, everyone.